IRCTC is one of the most visited websites of India. I have massive respect for IRCTC because their on-ground systems are extremely strong and they help millions of people travel every day easily. But I also know that we can significantly improve their online mobile experience. So today I'm going to show you how I redesigned the home screen for IRCTC's mobile booking experience. If we join IRCTC's amazing on-ground infrastructure with a modern and clean user interface, we will have the strongest combination ever. So let me show you the design process behind this. Even though IRCTC has multiple flows just for starting out, today we will pick their home screen. So as soon as you go to ircc.corover.ai, they have a new feature called Disha 2.0 and I personally love this name because it is Indian, it feels real and it feels like I'm talking to a person and it is extremely relevant to IRCTC's experience. So this is their home screen and let's just break down what all features does this one screen has. And this is the process that I usually follow. If I have to redesign this entire screen, I first ask myself what are the features. So you have a hamburger, a home menu, their logos, from and to, the journey date, the quota and a CTA to book the ticket. And then they have some upcoming bookings and some extra features as well. And then at the bottom you have an option to I think type or maybe just speak about your query. And in the upcoming videos we will also be taking care of these screens as well. But for now let's just start with this. Now let's point out some very important problems in this UI. First is that I don't really know where to look. So so the most important thing here is to decide what is the primary action? What is the common use case of this screen? The most common use case is obviously to book a ticket. When you're traveling, there are two kinds of travel. There's a one way trip and there's a round trip. And I have not used this mobile experience before. So I'm still pretty confused as to how I can book just a round trip versus just a one way trip. Secondly, because there are so many items here, so much text, so many images, my eyes don't really know where to look. So I think the first principle here is to understand what is the core objective of the screen and then understand how can we give maximum real estate to that one primary action without adding elements that can distract you. Now in design there's a very basic principle that if you can get rid of something cut it away. Anything that comes on the screen should be absolutely necessary. If you can cut away any word any single line of text that is recommended. So my first task was to essentially create some basic core atomic elements. We're not going to go into the details of creating the typography, iconography and the palettes because I've already covered that in my previous UX design course. You will find the link in description. But once you have decided the typeface, once you have decided the palette, it is important to then define your core input fields and your core components. So I personally feel that on the very top, I need to have some tab that helps me, you know, decide whether this is a one way trip or a round trip. And before doing all of this, I actually collected a lot of inspiration from other websites. So there were a few apps that I looked looked at and I used Mobin for this. Uh, you'll find the link in description. So there was this app called Flighty and what I usually do is I go through their screenshot and then I add my comments that you know this is something that I really liked. I looked at this app called Kayak and they had these cool filters on the top. You know it, it is always better to you know look at other apps who are trying to achieve similar outcome. But to be honest when you're designing for your own brand or when you're designing for your own problem statements these things just help you get more ideas. These things help you improve your visual design but overall you need to be very very careful that you're keeping in mind specific context of your user persona specific context of your own problem statement so as i said i created a component that would be a tab then i created this input field that basically adds the from and the place where i'm at i added a drop down which would help me select my category and the number of tickets that i want i could not find that option here so i'm not sure how do you book tickets for two three people in one go then for this secondary action i made this component right here so this is called an accordion and for these icons at the bottom instead of having a grid I created a single row item so this is a component uh, with a title and a subtext and an icon so I will be swapping this so I'll quickly play like a time-lapse video of how I created these components one by one to be honest a very core principle of creating components is visual hierarchy 
if i am making an input field i need to make sure that from is in a very small font and new delhi is in a big font both the color and the size establish your hierarchy i have used a single 5 pixel radii across all borders to make it not look too serious and to not make it very playful as well i have used a font which is called manrope i've used it because it has multiple weights it is clean and easy to read as well i've used box icons and remix icons because both are open source so i can use them for commercial purposes and then a very big change was to make sure that instead of these icons i actually give space for a subtext because as a newcomer i would not even know what to expect under file tdr or i would not know what is change boarding because i am not a regular traveler so it's very important to have space for a subtext and even here notice how the top line is in semi bold and the bottom line is in regular and instead of having just a simple icon i've put the primary color from the irctc's logo so i took this logo and i chose two colors colors this one and this one so i declared them in my palette as irctc primary 1 and irctc primary 2 so the colors sort of reflect a bit of their brand identity finally once i had to put these things together i realized that there would be three cards on the entire ui the top card should help you book the ticket so here we have the tab for switching in between one way and round trip you have from and you have to in the middle you have a button that lets you swap then instead of just having journey date i have assumed here that i would have a round trip so if i have a round trip i would have going on and then returning on if i were to switch to one way trip then this entire row would become a single input field so it would just say going on 12th june 2023 instead of having journey quota general gn i think it can simply say general and gn and then right next to general and gn i've put up an option that says one adult and then you can click on this drop down to select more number of tickets and then we have the primary cta that says book ticket on the entire screen there's only one fill button in the previous screen you can see that there's the top nav bar you have a cta button icons are also very very colorful but here what i've done is that i have created an accordion that says my upcoming bookings and then there's another accordion that says explore more and then within explore more we have failed bookings tour packages file tdr i haven't added the subtext here but you get the point now a very important thing to note here is that this is opening in google chrome this is not an ios native app so you can't do a lot of fancy things it is very very important that you keep Keep in mind that all animations, all interactions will be coded in HTML and CSS. Like I'm assuming that this is going to be on HTML and CSS. So to make sure things are scalable, you need to keep things very, very simple and very, very easy to maintain. In terms of visual design, notice how I have kept a simple, clean gray background. You have your hamburger here because you can simply put the home icon back into hamburger. You have your Ask Disha 2.0 logo followed by IRCTC. So both of them have equal hierarchy. and then at the bottom you have your chrome bar so this entire thing would be vertically scrollable now in terms of visual design there are very small small things that i want to point out one is that you don't always need these icons if i remove journey date if i remove this calendar icon your eyes will know that 12th june is the date itself you need labels when it is not very obvious what this data is for so if this wasn't 12th june 2023 if it was a normal text then i need a label because otherwise somebody would not even know Oh, what is this for is this from is this to is this your name is this your house address how would you know but when it comes to time and when it comes to date somebody can literally see and guess that this is a date so you don't need the label icons are usually helpful when you have a very long list but in this case even if you cut off these icons it would not affect the user experience overall it is always recommended to not have these many lines so i've basically kept shapes that are without any borders it just keeps your eyes very focused towards the content and notice that in terms of hierarchy i have a gray surface on top of that you have a white card so as you move towards the screen, Screen, the card should increase in lightness so all cards are in white so anything that you see in white is placed on that hierarchy and then the blue cta is on top of that card but when it comes to the input field if you put something in gray then it feels like you can fill something in it it feels a layer under that white card so it's not like i made this into a gray and then the input fields white keeping it gray makes it feel like you can type in it now there is no explicit logic behind it it's just that because we have been using so many app this is the kind of behavior that we would expect when we're seeing something like this in terms of the icon i have kept this icon from remix icon so i've put like an ellipse with a soft shadow again i've kept the colors very very clean and i've made sure that the contrast is extremely high because a lot of people might be using this on a 
स्क्रैच्ड स्क्रीन और अ स्क्रीन विच इज अंडर सनलाइट और दे माइट बी यूजिंग दिस राइट एट द रेलवे स्टेशन इट सेल्फ सो यू नीड टू बी वेरी वेरी केयरफुल अबाउट एक्सेसिबिलिटी इन जनरल अनदर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज द यूजेज ऑफ आइकन्स सो राइट हियर इफ यू सी माई अपकमिंग बुकिंग इट हैज अ शेवर ऑन दैट इज पॉइंटेड डाउनवर्ड बट इन दिस केस बिकॉज आई हैव मेड इट इन टू अ सेपरेट अकॉर्डियन वंस यू क्लिक ऑन माई अपकमिंग बुकिंग इट विल प्रॉब्लली ओपन अ न्यू पेज नाउ आई कैन एक्सप्लोर मल्टीपल variants of this maybe my upcoming bookings can open a form below as well but in this case i've just made it and into a separate flow and for explore more this is an accordion so you can see that this is the expanded state so if i click on this arrow back then it would probably collapse it now here itself while i'm explaining to you i've just got an idea i've just realized that if this is an accordion and if this is a button then the visual design for both of them needs to be slightly different so maybe in the next iteration i can probably make this look different maybe make it look like a cta so that people know that the feature is quite different even for field bookings and all of these things i've made sure that there's a gray icon right next to the text so that you know that it is clickable otherwise if you don't put an icon people will not know that it is clickable they will think that it is simply a list so yes if i were to keep these icons side by side you can see that there are very small small nudges a uh, very small small spacing details that i have added to make sure that your eyes focus on the main content in terms of typography you will notice that i have removed dash and replaced it with cap capital letters i don't know if ksr is supposed to be in this sentence case but i've made it capital just to be on the safe side because obviously when i'm designing i'm not really verifying the text so if there is any copy mistake i apologize for that because right now i was just focusing on the entire structure the entire visual hierarchy of the entire interface now in the next video we will be going through this screen right here which is a pretty complicated screen that basically helps you select a specific train so i've made the list of features and and in the next video i will be working on this as well now if you're here for the first time my name is ansh mehra and i teach people how to design apps websites and i educate them about ai tools like chat gpt mid journey and a lot more if you are interested in learning design i have published a free course on ux which is available in both hindi and in english you will find the links in description this entire exercise is not to criticize somebody else's work in reality when you have such an important project at hand there are a lot of technical constraints a lot of back end constraints a lot of priorities a lot of budget constraints and we are not taking care of them right now in this video so this is a completely fictional project in real life things are way more complicated there's a lot of back end and a lot of homework and a lot of convincing that you need to do across stakeholders i personally feel Feel that the current website is pretty good, considering the amount of features and considering the amount of traffic that this website needs to manage. But I also know that if we designers put our brains together, we can optimize the user experience of IRCTC to take it to the absolute next level. This year, my goal is to redesign some of the most important applications and websites that we have in India. I truly believe that if we combine our functional features, if we truly combine our strong infrastructure with a clean and modern looking user experience we will have some of the most sophisticated softwares in the world and as you know design plays a huge role in the success of any tech application so it's high time that we recognize the value of design and start learning how we can improve our own softwares and create some of the most amazing softwares this country has ever seen let me know in the comment section if you have any feedback my email is admin@anshmera.com this entire revamp was done as a quick exercise so i know that i have made quite a lot of mistakes but i'm always open to hear new ideas and suggestions I hope that you're taking care of your mind and body. This is your dose Ansh Mehra signing out. If you like this video, make sure you click on like and hit the subscribe button. I regularly upload videos on UX design, marketing and storytelling.